Hi people, my voice here again. I see a change of uh, leadership in the government today. Julia um, Gillard is the new Prime Minister. Kevin Rudd's been ousted. I don't think uh, a very good uh, idea at this stage of the game. There's an election in a few months' time, I think. Um, I know Kevin Rudd had a bit of uh, hassle with the mining industry. We weren't happy with his 40% uh, tax. But that's the um, the party's policy. That's that's the government's policy. It's not. Uh, he's only the leader of the uh, or the captain of the ship. In other words, I think by changing the uh, leadership, the same policies are going to be there. I think there's an old saying, whereas uh, a leopard never changes its spots. So, uh, I think my opinion is uh, they. Um, ousted uh, Kevin Rudd because uh, he was fairly unpopular as far as, far as his mining tax is concerned um, and have uh, put uh, Julian Gillard in as uh, Prime Minister to uh, hopefully get them over the line uh, win some uh, sympathy votes, or not sympathy votes, but woman votes uh, at, the, at the next federal election. I mean you've only got to look at what's happening you know all this is probably all to do with the financial crisis that uh, the Rudd government has taken us through. All the money that's been spent, the money that's been borrowed, the stuff ups, and a general feeling of, of the, the country as far as all this stuff's happening. You know, we've got our soldiers being killed in, in Afghanistan. We should never be there in the first place. I see uh, Obama's just sacked his um, his uh, head general today or yesterday because he has spoken out about the war over there that is just uh, a total waste of time. It's killing people left, right and centre. It's all a big play for the oil. You only got to look what's happening in the, in the, in the Gulf of Mexico with this uh, BP drill hole they can't plug spewing millions of gallons of uh, millions of barrels of oil a day into the ocean. Oil prices are going to shoot through the roof. Everybody knows in the oil industry that the uh, oil fields are all drying up. So the Americans have been for years trying to get control of the Middle East and that's what all this war is about. Get control of the Middle East so they can control the oil Financial markets, all these things I mentioned were going to happen. The video I put out a, a few months ago, I think, about another crash. It's starting to, the pace is starting to get quicker. Financial uh, brokering firm went into uh, administration here in Australia uh, a couple of days ago, I think, or earlier in the week, or maybe the, maybe last week sometime. Well, just recently anyway, last few days. 3,000 investor accounts frozen. So these people are going to be worried about whether they can get their money out of it or uh, whatever. And I wouldn't mind betting some of that's uh, superannuation money, retirement money. Macquarie Group today talking about uh, the financial uh, worries. Their uh, share price has uh, dropped off. Small business uh, companies, um, not too many companies can uh, have withdrawn uh, um, floats out of the system because uh, there's just no money. Nobody's willing to put money into them. All these things. I think Poland or somewhere there over in the Eastern Bloc, uh, over in the uh, European Bloc, uh, um, I think they're uh, looking at uh, getting a bailout from the IMF, the World Bank. Something like that anyway. I mean, you know, all these things, very shaky, very shaky. Like I said, you know, there's, there's, there's another crash coming. And it's going to, it's just starting to build momentum. The IMF, I noticed in the paper the other day, saying that this uh, mining tax would be a good thing for Australia. I think what they were actually saying is that, um, yeah, bring that tax in so you can pay us back. You know, like I said, read between the lines. The IMF is where everybody gets their money from. The International Money Fund. So naturally, 
they'd be wrapped if Australia bought another taxi. I mean, you have to think about governments in the world, or anybody. If you go way back to, in history, back England in the you know, early days when they started to bring in these taxes, you know, the only reason they brought the taxes in because the king wanted to, uh, or the queen wanted to uh, go to war or something like that, so I right, tax the people. And that's what happens. That's what's happened all the way down right to this day. The governments of the world want to borrow money. Yeah, no worries. The uh, World Bank will give you the money because they know that you've got all this labour in your country. You've got all these people paying taxes. So they're more or less guaranteed that they're going to get their money back. That's why you never, you really never see, you'll see countries go broke, but they always get bailed out. Someone will put money into them. They'll either do a deal where they can pick up their oil fields or their gold mines or their copper mines or whatever, whatever those countries have got. There's always a trade-off, but what I'm saying is they never really go broke, the governments. But so all these things are happening, and like I said, you know, I don't think that uh, the change of uh, leadership um, here in Australia is going to do anything for the Labor Party. You know, same old story, same policies. Policies don't change. I mean, there's all they are is a figurehead. The, the party sits down, discusses all their policy, blah, 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 this is what we're going to do, and then it's up to the Prime Minister, or in some cases the Treasurer, but you, nine times out of ten, it's the Prime Minister to tell us about it, put it out to the media. Figurehead, that's all they are. So that's my feelings on it. So uh, I don't think there's going to be any changes at all. Might get them over the line at the next election, that's about it. Nightfall to catch a